Anisha and I are about to drive down to country. Let me pull my mask off. We're about to drive down to country and I'm gonna show you a house update in today's video. So yeah. <laughs> Just came in here because Anisha wanted this. So how much are you gonna buy? How much of these? Four? How many liters? This is eight fluid ounces. So this is what Anisha's gonna get. Yeah, I'm just gonna get four of these. Um I Catherine's Peak, let me know if you guys have a brand down below that you guys don't like because I don't like Wata and Icol. They're from the same brand. Uh -huh. To be honest, they sound, taste exactly the same. So, she said she likes 876, yeah, but this is too big. Yeah, Catherine's Peak is good too. How much mill millimeters is this? Yeah, I don't want to. 330. Yeah, this is this is would this would be it. Oh, Just okay. one that you can carry. It could be, so I can bring one. Just one. God, dude. I drink so much water. Water will be okay. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> so. right, look at this place that Anisha oh, yes. vlogged. You need to go check out her vlog. I'm gonna get the drone. Oh yes, yes, I'm gonna get yes, the drone. Yes, yes. Guys, this place is pretty. All right, I'll be right back. Let me go get the drone and insert some drone footage and show you guys what I'm seeing from another angle. So doing some drone shots here. I'm sitting on this big, huge um, tree stump or tree. That's what we're gonna call it, Drone Babe. Let's see. Alright, so, um, let me go in and show Alright, guys, so we're about to go down here. I finally reached my community. <laughs> um, so we're about to go look at how far they've reached with the house. As you can see from this, they've reached pretty far. Mind you, it's been a while since we've been here last. Um, a lot has gone down. Um, we have fired some of the previous people because um a lot of mistake was already made coming out of the foundation can you imagine so we're gonna walk down there Here we are in front of what would be 
the wash room entrance the side veranda so this right here would be the washroom and then when you walk out through here right in the middle here would be the kitchen um, if you're new uh, you can go and check out some of my other videos I'm gonna try to climb over yeah I think I can climb over this though all right so this all of this is the kitchen right here it's very zoomed in on the camera I wish I could show you how spacious spacious it is but it's very 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 spacious let me go and show you at another angle so that's where I was standing far over there all of this is the kitchen this is the pantry um, this is a bedroom right here there's a staircase it's not gonna be this narrow um, there's more to it than this but the staircase would lead you all the way up to the ground floor because this is the basement level there's a ground floor and then there will be a first floor so technically there is one two three stories I guess or two stories on a basement um, depends on where you're from you'll explain it differently um, so there is a bathroom for these two ba um, bedrooms so bedroom here bathroom mind you there's a lot of things that need to be fixed so what you're seeing now will not be the finished product just be mindful I'm just showing you where we are and don't think I've forgotten about the price video definitely we'll do that as well this is another bedroom this is what it's looking like very high windows very wide windows um yeah this is what bathroom will look like it's very spacious we're gonna have a shower in this bathroom sink and a toilet it's a very nice um spacious bathroom so now this would be like the living area um there's a bedroom right here it's one of the bigger bedrooms downstairs so this is what that looks like this bedroom is very big i believe it's 16 by 17 or 16 by 18 i'll try to pop it up on the screen if i'm incorrect um, but it is a very 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 big bedroom compared to normal bedroom sizes there's also a closet and a bathroom so yeah it's reached pretty far if I turn from here this is what it's looking like so when you come out the bedroom you'll kind of walk straight into the living dining area and then the kitchen would be to the right again pantry bedroom bathroom bedroom and then let's walk out to the veranda this will be a veranda area and then we'll have glass doors here I believe double glass doors opening up to outside so all of this has to be dumped up unfortunately um, I think I'll leave this to another video to explain to you why but yeah being very careful so when you step inside the house you'll be looking straight into the living dining kitchen and then there will be a staircase right there going up. <sighs> a lot has gone down since we were last here. I'll put up a video in this part to show you what it looked like before. And I'll also put it up in the beginning. You've seen that by now to see what it looks like. But there's going to be a tank here. A tank and a underground driveway because when you think about it the ground level is going to come up to meet the house so we're going to be able to step right off outside right there so there's going to be space to park your car underneath which is really cool it's a great use of space um yeah we'll have extra storage in that driveway as well so that's really nice so again this is the washroom from the washroom you'll be able to go into the 
driveway, the garage. So, great use of space. Here's everything. They're, they're doing the columns now. Um, so it's very, very interesting. Um, yeah. Let's go. Let's see. I'm actually so excited. My mom is really excited, but a lot has happened and it's very frustrating how far we've come. Um, more specifically, my mom, she spent so much money. And you know, it's best if you're building a house in Jamaica, if you have time or have someone you trust that will be able to oversee it for you because she's very stressed out right now and I hate seeing my mom stressed out. Um, and money is a very serious thing, especially when you're working for your money, you get me? So please if you can be here yourself to oversee what's going on do that or if you have someone that you absolutely trust and don't don't put in somebody that you half trust have this be someone that you absolutely trust you know um because this is a lot of money and sometimes people try to do their own design their own thing as if they're the ones who are going to live here so be very careful with the people you choose to build your home be very careful of the people you choose to oversee it. Be very careful of the people you choose to do your drawings. Be very, very, very careful. Because this is an investment. This is a life investment. Um, and if you're doing it to get returns, you're going to have to think about that as well. Like, if this is something you're doing to sell, then think about how that finished product is going to come off to the consumer. You have to be very, very careful. So I'm just showing you yeah i'll try to get the drone up and see what i can get from the sky and uh, yeah if you have any tips that you want to leave to me and anyone else who is in this home building process any tips you want to give to my mom just drop them down in the comments let me know what you think of the place so far let me know if you see the vision i really can't wait Alright guys, just so you can see again, um, this is what the entrance from the washroom would look like. Let's go down to the other side, the back. Um, mind you, these should have been filled. don't know what's going on here, but there's some drainage systems drainage systems and for electrical systems so it's really interesting to see um but honestly i guess i can see now that it's half from outside so i can see that because from the other side it wasn't really looking like it's half i just wanted to show you guys this that's what it's looking like on the other side started dumping up some of the ground as you guys can see yeah it really was never supposed to be dumped up in the first place but the previous let's call him a foreman i don't know his specific title builder overseer whatever they want to call him um he was doing it wrong plain and simple he was doing it wrong and he had this notion that you know when it rained it was gonna flood the water was gonna run right in your house but like okay i understand that even if it was like a one step up that would have been fine if it was a one step up but he built it up so high and mind you the architect came and pointed out everything to him like you don't you should dig down this part more so you don't have to step up into the house that high if you had digged it down more but he wasn't listening he he wasn't listening to the architect um and he wasn't listening to anybody else around him because his word was final so he built it up so much that it would have needed like six eight step ups which is like are you mad that's like do you know how much step ups that is that's why the back is so high and one thing that was actually really insulting was some of the things that he was saying like the house is gonna look ugly if you don't do it this way and this is what i think or da, da, da. but it's not about what you think it's about what's possible and it's about what we want um yeah so it's very disappointing um to see how it had turned out because their work is very neat i mean granted some of these these weren't even filled and now the block is breaking 
um is breaking so it just was a very poor job and as someone who's building someone's home he wasn't taking into consideration the things that we were telling him that we wanted it was about what he wanted so he had to go um so he's gone don't be afraid to fire people um it's gonna be your home it's where you're gonna live don't be afraid to find new people to help you bring your dream to life your vision to life so that's my tip to you do not be afraid to fire people you do not owe anybody anything you do not owe anybody anything so if it's your home do what you think is best get second opinions get second opinions and build your home the way you want if you want to build a ship build a ship if you want to build your house in the shape of a circle build your house in the shape of a circle if it's possible um if it's possible then you can do it so yeah make sure you like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for another video i hope you like the drone footage in the beginning of the river anisha literally got the gems and i hope you like the drone footage and the walkthrough of where we are right now when i get to speak to the architect i'll ask him some more information so i can share with you because i don't know the technical terms for some of these but i do know like these are the columns and as you can see right here this is a column as well it's just exposed compared to this that's you know blocked up or cemented up i don't know how to describe it so when I do get a chance to speak with him and see him, I'm going to ask him about a lot of this. So if you have any questions on anything that you're seeing, let me know. Don't be afraid to ask me because then I can go back and, you know, think, hmm, you know, good question and find out as well. So make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.